is how God speaks. John 10, 27, my sheep listen to my voice, Jesus says. I know them and they follow me. They listen to my voice. Finally, Jeremiah 31, look at this. God says, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time. And you do realize that the New Testament calls all who believe in Jesus the new Israel. Declares the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will a man teach his neighbor or a man his brother saying, know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord, for I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. If you've been forgiven, then God says, knowledge of him as much as it ever was to Samuel. You don't need to feel jealous of Samuel. You need to recognize that God is saying to you that you are in the same place as Samuel, if not better, because with Samuel, the appearance of God came and went, and with us, he's always with us in our heart. The Spirit of God goes with us. So if I could just make this practical to you, I've got three suggestions for you. There are no blanks. You can just write these things down. I've got three suggestions for you for how you can make this really work for you this month and how you can begin to explore more deeply what it means to hear God speak to you, okay? Number one, believe it. Number one, believe that God will speak to you. If you open up the Bible, it's worth your time because he will speak to you. His breath comes through those words into your soul. If you spend some time in quiet prayer, it's worth your time because His Spirit is with you. If you have given your heart to Jesus, if you have been saved, His Spirit is with you. If you've never gone through that process, if you don't know what forgiveness is, if you don't know what it means to have the Holy Spirit, then by all means, make today your day and say, God, I give you my life and I want your Spirit in me. Well, there's even a spot on your card that you can put a check mark there saying, I want more information on how to be a follower of Jesus. And we'll, we'll connect with you and, and follow up with you on that. But here's the deal. Number one, you've got to believe that if you are with Jesus, he wants to speak to you. It's worth it to open your Bible and to pray. Number two, I want you to be so familiar with the words the Spirit has already given that means the, the words on the page, the Bible. Be so familiar with the words the Spirit has already given that you will be able to understand and discern the new words He might give into your heart. Okay? Be so familiar with the way He talks. Read the Bible. Be so familiar with the words on the page that when the Spirit speaks into your heart, you'll recognize it. <coughs> Number three, buy a notebook. Because God's going to say something to you. And you've got to write it down. Because there's going to be a day when you might not be hearing him as well as other days. And in those days, you'll want to open it up and say, these are the words he's given to me. Your notebook is your journal of time that God has spoken to you. If you are entering into this journey with us, the hearing God journey, I want to invite you to pick up one of those participants' guides. I bought tons of extra participants guides. We have just about as many books as people who pre-ordered them, a couple extras. But I bought a ton of extra participants guides that I want to I release to you guys. So pick one of those up and use it as a journal this month. It is going to give you the opportunity of hearing God and putting it down on paper so that you can begin to draw the connecting lines between what God has on the page and what God has in your heart. And I believe he will speak to you. And I believe he wants to change your life this month. So let me ask you this. Let's spend just a few moments in reflection right now. We're going to sing a song. I, the words aren't going to be on the screen. It's just going to be a song that, that I want us as a band to just kind of sing over you about listening to God and asking Him to speak to us. But while we're doing that, I want to invite you to start your journaling process on the back side of that little Connect card. Put down some thoughts. Has God said anything to me today? Did I read anything in his word that was fresh or new to me today? Or is there anything that God is trying to communicate into my heart today? Do I sense anything? Just write it down. And then when the basket comes past later on, put it in the basket and, and say, this is, this is a prayer. This is my encounter with God today. And we'll have our prayer team praying for you too. So let's bow our heads.
God, I ask that you do the work in our hearts to reveal yourself to us. God, I pray that you would you would just remind us of your presence and teach us with your word. And here in the quietness and the silence of this moment, would you begin to whisper into our hearts? 